sweet taste of success. A mother and her two daughters from Lyman have developed what they tout as the perfect cake recipe. Not too big and very easy to make. They call it Jarva Cakes. Everything you need except just a little bit of water in less than a minute. While Jarva Cakes founder Michelle Shields touts the simplicity of her chocolate cake recipe, ask her daughters and it's simply the perfect snack. It's that quick craving, you know, late night, perfect fix. And at just six ounces, the perfect size. In fact, that's how this whole concept began. A compromise between Michelle and her cake craving husband. I told him, no more cakes. We're not doing that anymore. If you want something sweet after dinner, I'll make a cake in a mug for you. Nearly two years later, Michelle and her crew are now making upwards of 5,000 of these cakes in a mug kits each week, and all from inside the second floor of her garage. But she loves it, she says, working from home side by side with her daughters. It's great to have their support. It's great to know that they're excited about the product and they talk, talk about it, they sell it, they work on social media with it. All said they're selling because customers find them tasty. Five flavors of chocolate decadence. Add a little water, stir, pop it in the microwave, and 40 seconds later, you've got cake. Huh? That's pretty good. Pretty good? Essentially, an old fashioned lava cake with a touch of something special which Michelle will not divulge. Well, it's top secret. We have a patent pending right now, so we're the only ones that know the secret to what I'm doing. But it's no secret that Jarva Cakes is going gangbusters. Two dozen specialty stores now sell them. Internet orders arrive each day from all across the country. Mix her up. A simple mix of sweet success. With food, if you have something good, people talk about it, um, they remember it. So just through word of mouth, they're selling literally like hot cakes. <laughs> and I can attest, those cakes are very good. Now, up until a few months ago, I had never heard of kombucha. Essentially, it's a fermented tea. Well, thanks to two guys in Portland, a lot of folks now are getting to know about kombucha. So there's our citron latte just kicked. Once just an old garage in Portland's industrial Bayside neighborhood. Do you want to shoot it? <laughs> Today, it's an ever-growing popular serving spot for Maine-made kombucha. Yeah, I'm going to go mate and ginger. It's even more like a tonic. You're not like drinking pints of it. Uh, you're doing maybe shots of it throughout the day. That's usually how we do it. Uh, checking out the different tanks that are happening here. Five years ago, Eli Kerr founded the company <laughs> Urban Farm Fermentary. Together with kombucha brewer Reed Emmerich, they produced a localized blend of this age old traditional elixir of fermented tea and sugar. It's, it's a bit of an art and a science, I suppose, so everybody that makes kombucha probably makes it a little bit different, just like a chef would make you know, certain recipes a, a different way. Anywhere from balsam to white pine, autumn olive, this was harvested uh, right around the corner. What mostly sets this recipe apart is the array of natural and organic flavors which are blended with the traditional tea. Blueberries, ginger, beets, chaga mushrooms, among others all farmed or foraged locally in Maine. Well, the fun thing about it is like, you can process the same ingredients a bunch of different ways and create completely different flavors. There's cinnamon and basil. Just testing to see if it will taste any good. Yeah, exactly. Constantly creating, he says, always so just, experimenting know, with new blends. And apparently they're catching on. Urban Farms now bottles and sells a full line of kombucha flavors throughout much of New England. I feel like the flavor, uh, like the palate of the American public is changing from like really sweet to uh, drier and, uh, and even more sour things, you know, so kind of lines up perfectly with where we're at. The kombucha made here does contain about one and a half percent alcohol, so legally it's sold as wine. Still loaded with probiotics, many kombucha fans tout its health benefits. A modern day twist to an old fashioned taste and 
it's attracting a crowd. At the end of the day, we want it to be good for you, even though we can't market that, but it has to taste great. It was really hot Very good. Thank you. <laughs> And still ahead on Maine in Maine, you know, Maine has a lot of great artists, and some of their art is all about Maine. Plus, we'll meet an illustrator who traveled a long way to learn all about a favorite Hall of Famer from the Red Sox.